everyone and welcome back to Frenchie by Chelsea Elizabeth which is all about sophisticated style and self-care. Now today is a Saturday, it's around 11 a.m. and I'm heading for a walk into the city to stretch my legs, to get some exercise and to grab a takeaway coffee. In case you didn't know it, we are back in lockdown here in Melbourne for another six weeks and you know, I know that not many of us want to stay at home for six weeks again, but we have to, whether we like it or not, and we will get through this together. Just know that if you are in lockdown, I'm always here for you and so is the Frenchie fam. It's pretty difficult though, I'm not going to lie, you know, we've done it before so we know how difficult it can be. It can be very isolating and it can make you have quite a lack of motivation, but you know, that's what I'm here for. I hope I can help you guys. I hope I can lift your spirit. So without further ado, let's go for a walk into the city, get caffeinated, you know, bring the energy up and just see what the city is like in lockdown because I'm sure it's going to be a ghost town out there, but we have to wait to find out. So let's go and yeah, let's have some fun guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up by the way. Click that subscribe button, come join the Frenchie fan because I would love to have you on board and I have some really exciting projects that I'm working on at the moment, creating some products and some services. So stay tuned and that's why you want to subscribe so you can be the first to know when all of this is happening. Anyway, it's time to go and get a coffee. Let's go. on my way home. It was good to get out for a walk, but I must admit the mood in Melbourne is quite low. We've got a rainy day paired with lockdown. It's not the best mix, but we're trying to stay positive here. I had my coffee from Sensory Lab. Thank gosh for coffee. I don't know what I would do without it, but it's time to head home and I'll film along the way. It's a new, a new world, honestly. It's a new kind of normal and it's going to take some time to adjust. That's for sure. I'm all up in that love haze, so where do we go now? and I need something to warm up and I just need a bit of an energy hit to be honest because whenever I'm in lockdown I know from the last time I always feel extra tired just because I'm not doing as much so coffee always helps but I wanted to fill you guys in on what I got up to last night so last night I had to stay home of course first Saturday night back in lockdown and I got Uber Eats but instead of getting like just my average kind of Uber Eats meal that I always get, I ended up spoiling myself with some delicious food from Chin Chin and it was divine. It was so good. I felt like I really just like treated myself and it felt extra special. Yeah, it was a bit pricier and the food is just so high quality, so it was totally worth it. But that's what I highly recommend doing if you are in lockdown. Treat yourself, have like a night where you treat yourself to a special meal from your favorite restaurant or from, you know, a high end restaurant. That way you feel like you're doing something extra special because we have six more weeks of this. So we need to get through it somehow. Anyway, it's coffee time. I'm hearing the bells chime and that means that, yeah, it's time to get caffeinated. So let's go. So don't let me go now. The love is exceptional. It fills me up. It's out of control, out of control. Oh, baby, I... It's a little bit later on now. It's actually nearly two o'clock and I ended up going to the grocery store. I go to the South Melbourne market and I go to the health food store there. I thought I would show you guys what I bought or what I topped up on all the week ahead. I did get some blueberries from the fruit shop. I love blueberries, adding them into porridge or my overnight oats. They're just a great snack to have on hand as well. Like at night, if you feel like something sweet, you could do some coconut yogurt with blueberries. I'm obsessed. And now it's time to open up 
what I got from the grocery store. Starting with some porridge sachets. So I do love my porridge, but often, you know, just to be more practical, I feel like these sachets will be great and just, you know, help me on the go, especially when I'm at work because I do work the early shift every second week. So I wake up at, you know, 4.45 a.m. and by the time I get into the office, I just don't have enough time to like ration out my oats. And I know it's a bit, a bit lazy, but this will just be so much more convenient. I can even probably heat it up in the microwave at work such a good brekkie idea. So I got them and I'm going to bring the blueberries with me for my work breakfast. That way I can like sprinkle them on top and have them with my oats. I also bought this beautiful paleo mix protein powder, kind of, I guess you would say like, you know, a bit of a granola, but it's a healthy granola. It's not filled with, you know, a lot of sugar or a lot of additives. It's a really healthy version. It has activated sunflower seeds, coconut chips, activated flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, cashews, raw cacao nibs, activated Brazil nuts, activated almonds, activated chia seeds, and yeah, low carb, high in healthy fat, ketogenic friendly, and fructose free. So that sounds really good. I want to give this one a go. And then, I also bought this Macro Mike peanut butter powder. Now, I love peanut butter, but I feel like this is going to be so good because once again, with these porridge sachets, I can actually sprinkle this onto my porridge and mix it in, have some blueberries, and there you have it, like a protein packed porridge, essentially. So I'm going to try this. It also says that it's 85% less fat calories than traditional peanut butter. So I don't know, I don't count calories, but I feel like, you know, peanut butter is quite high in, you know, calories and fat. And I guess like, you know, you don't realize how much of it you have. I'm addicted to peanut butter. So this will do me well. At least it's maybe a little bit better than your traditional PB. <laughs> and next I got a loaf of gluten-free bread. I'm not celiac, you know, but I do like gluten-free bread. I find it just works better with my body. What else? I got some gluten-free spaghetti as well. This looks so nice, honestly. I can't wait to try this one. I also bought some coconut yogurt. I love my curry You know, if you're looking for a really good snack or dessert, uh, what I usually do is I mix my coconut yogurt with some protein powder. You could even add in some peanut butter. That is like delicious. It tastes like a mousse. And yeah, I just love Koyo. <laughs> and lucky last, I bought this vegetable broth with organic red miso. And this is essentially like a bone broth, but it's just a vegetarian version. It's delicious. I actually have been having this in the afternoons, I just add a scoop into a teacup and then add some hot water, stir it, and it's like a soup, but it's a healthy snack and it's really good, especially in these winter months for an immunity boost. So this is a good one too. That's my little, you know, shopping spree and it's from, so the shop that I go to is called Moses and Co Whole Foods. And they have this great little bag, which I use all the time. So there you have it. That's what I got today at the grocery store. I just topped up on a few bits and pieces. I didn't actually need too much, but I did need, you know, my bread. I needed some more coconut yogurt. And these bits and pieces are just really good for during the week. So that's my little grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so next up on the agenda is to unbox a delivery I received from Short Story. I love the team at Short Story and I'm such a big fan of their brand. I've actually been working with them for a couple of years now and, you know, they just have such thoughtful gift ideas and just their collection gets better and better every year. Like, I love that they've collaborated with Disney and that's a hint of what's inside the box. So let's open up because I'm working on another collaboration with them over on Instagram. These pieces have been kindly gifted to me. A big shout out to the short story team and to Lawrence 
for being so generous and just like supporting Frenchie over the years. It really means a lot, but um, it's time to open up and I'll show you what I've chosen from their new collection. short story because I did get to handpick each item for my collaboration so that you know these are items that I love and that I chose for myself and thought that they would fit perfectly into my life into my bedroom because they are all stunning pieces starting with a cute pair of earrings and the thing I love about short story earrings is that they come in the cutest little jars this is what I mean short story is more than just an online shop they really put a lot of effort into the little details you know where else can you buy earrings that come in such cute packaging I love it <laughs> I love that noise so we've got the beautiful little earrings here we also have a candle a frozen themed candle now this candle is called Elsa snow gardenia is the scent and it's a soy wax candle Wait until you guys see the candle. Stay tuned for my Instagram post. But this isn't just your ordinary candle. Let me say that. Next, we have another beautiful short story print. And if you've ever wanted to order a print from short story, this is how it turns up in this beautiful packaging. I mean, it's quite heavy. And you open it up like so. Oh my gosh, guys. This is amazing. How beautiful. And guess what it says? Because if you know me, you know I'm a dreamer. It says dreams come true. I love it. It's just gorgeous, guys. And I mean, look at the packaging. And then you pull this and the frame comes out. Obviously, I don't want to, you know, break it. But yeah, that's how it comes out. Let me just read you what it says. It says, dreams come true. Twinkle among the stars and be inspired by your favorite Disney stories. Bring to life fairy tales that spark adventure, dream making and strength. A magical place in all hearts where dreams really do come true. This beautiful piece was handmade in Melbourne with much love and care. I just love this one and honestly like I have a couple of these pieces now they look beautiful in my room and everyone always compliments them because they are handmade and the origami work is just on another level so stay tuned for my Instagram posts about these beautiful pieces but thank you short story it's like Christmas has come early there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Chelsea in the City. I hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, filming this week's video gave me a sense of purpose this weekend, the first weekend back in lockdown. So I just want to say thank you guys for being so supportive and being my friends, essentially. Now, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam. We are also so close to reaching 1,000 subscribers. That has been my goal for the past three years. I started my YouTube channel three years ago and I would really appreciate your support with that. So help a girl out. Thank you so much in advance. And I'll see you guys next week. Have an amazing day whenever you're watching this because you deserve it. Remember that. And as I always say, dream big, make it happen, and be your own biggest fan. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.